Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and today we continue our run currently playing as Tuscany in Europa Universalis 4. But in just a little bit, we will be playing as Italy. So let's get there. Let's check some things here. New recording session in a new week. Uh, so it looks like three years for Venice. Uh, Savoy has just ended, but we don't have a, a, a CB on them, so no issues, no worries. And again, we're kind of sitting here just waiting for, for Naples to to have rebels break them here. Wondering if Castile's ever going to get there and help them. Um... Let us begin to spy on our, our ally here. Oh, there's some rebels happening in Ragusa. We could be facing that. That same problem. Uh, but we, we don't have a claim or anything on, on Naples, so we need to spy on Castile until that changes. I'm also assuming that if I attack Hungary, the junior partner of uh, Austria, that Austria being in the coalition would get called in. I don't know that for sure. But let's go ahead and do this. We're going to become Italy. And we will take our new stuff. And we have a new mission tree. Let's see what we have. Prosperity for all. We had to own eight provinces. Uh, we have to have that to get Italy. So, okay. And then a worthy navy. At least 90% of the force limit. We have permanent claims on wonderful areas. Tunisia... Dejerba, okay. That, that is wonderful. Okay. So, up here, we need five of those provinces with a castle. And we only have one. Um... I don't want to have more than one, but uh, I want those claims for sure. Well, we'll work on that. In the Italy region, that's all this. We're definitely going to obviously go for that, but uh, yeah, that's going to be difficult. I was hoping to get claims on that, or maybe cores. Okay, we have a claim on, on this. Just by being Italy, we, we now have a claim on Naples. So we could... We will uh, eventually be able to uh, to get that, but we have, we have permanent claims on that, so we don't need to worry about this. Excellent. Hey, Tunisia. Hi. We have a truce until uh, here we are 1533 okay but Austria has left the coalition the coalition's falling apart well that's a good thing that is a good thing indeed all right, so we have 14. Okay, so this is one thing I was looking at. Um, is that uh, I've got 19 now. Uh, more troops here. And especially if we get rid of those, we could get... Um, 19 plus 13, 22. 32. But even 19, there, there's some good options here, but like this one here, 17. Um, 
here. We, we'd have plenty of uh, space for this. Um, costs us one point, you know, <laughs> costs us a lot. Um, and it would only cost 25 to upkeep, which isn't too bad. Um, but like 13 here with the cannons. I would like to replace this with something like this so that we have some cannons and we don't have to add cannons to it. One of the reasons I, I like that eight here, <laughs> the eight cannons, I, I do like that. But we don't have uh, 1,000 uh, okay, yeah, 1.2k. So yeah, we don't have 1,000 coin unless we go talk to the burgers. But I feel like if I'm going to go talk to the burgers, we should just build the castles. Although admittedly, um, the next war is probably going to be against Venice and Tunis, so we probably don't need to worry about the castles quite yet. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go delete this, and I'm going to... Can I seize land? Not quite. Not quite. Very, very close. We're going to go talk to the burgers. And we're going to be indebted to the burgers, which gives us enough. To now come down and order this in Rome. Um, am I building a castle somewhere? I'm building a castle. Uh, and I think that was needing to get done before I could delete three. So that will be splendid. Uh, we're only making 29. Uh, and that'll cost 25 when that pops up. So we're going to be down quite a ways. But that's okay. Alright, so that's 27 total. And so that gives us five more that we could get before we get to the limit. But that is fine. Oh, we have an election. That's terrible. So this is still happening here. All right, so we can lose 13 Republican tradition and get a 304. That's seven. These are six. And keep the Republican tradition. I think that's fine. I think that's a better option. So, we are working our way through Humanist. I think we need a bureaucratic candidate. So, let's do so. And Savoy has entered a coalition against us. How dare you! So, the question is, what do I want to do for that five? We have the half cannon, which I think is where we need to be right now. Uh, let's get here. Yeah, artillery fire is a couple more anyway. We're actually ahead of that. Um, 13 is when we need half, so we don't need that. So I say we just uh, go for five here. We're losing money now. Well, that's hardly good. Okay, so you're targeting allies. Good. I think I saw the coalition had reformed. It's very small, <clears throat> but it is present. That said, um, we now have the option to attack. Latinet is in the coalition, I think. So I don't know if the coalition would come in on this. But we could attack Austria, which really would be attacking Hungary. Um, the Palatinate would bring in Poland... Osberg, Frankfurt, Nuremberg, Nassau, Constance, Regensburg. They're 21 shy. 
the dead. Well, they're fighting in another war. Okay. Let's see when, when uh, Spain gets to peace. And meanwhile, uh, we should probably get some claims in the land we actually want here. From Hungary. I mean, yeah, I'll take the coast, but... Probably aren't going to worry about that for now. We'll probably be uh, far more focused on, on other things here. Um, let's get our army over to Ragusa because we're going to be facing that. I'm also really not quite sure why we suddenly... Started losing money from the four. But I do think that we can go backwards in advisors. That eh, might have been. Might have been uh, religious money. Might have been mercenary maintenance. That could, could have been it. Did they get this down? They didn't get it down. Thank you. We're going to head there, and we need a new debate in Parliament. Merchants and trade power, a diplomat. Okay. Spy network construction, fort maintenance, advisor costs. I think advisor costs is where we have to go. Lose we'll some military power. Um... Lose Republican tradition. And, uh, I guess those. That is going to raise our money here to get rid of the corruption, but that is okay. For the moment. East Phrygia. Wishes to hire an army. Do they? We really need more transports, too. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll always grant the city. But we did also get another fort. That won't do that much, but it will do something. Oh, our capital moved to Rome. Did it. Ah. Well, we could have designed our forts a little bit differently if I didn't have to keep the fort in Friends. I will probably at some point move the capital back to Friends. But for now, we'll leave it there because I want my, my meager points to go toward humanists instead. but intriguing. They must have bought this now or something. Venice. Who have you managed to figure out? No one. No one has come to your aid. Venice's power is 118. 
with 32 of that being the capital itself. I will not take the capital itself, but I am hoping to take the entire state here with the exception of the capital. Um, this modifier gets removed when the state religion changes. Goodness. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just lose the 20 power. I don't, I don't want to do that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just move our people over there. Thinking Ragusa's got some good stuff. And uh, I am moving this to level two across the board. That's what I want. Na Naples has entered a coalition. Hold the phone. Stop all plans. Dear France, please come help me with this coalition. Uh, we will, yeah, do a bruisey as the beginning. Let us get moving. Uh, I don't know what Spain just just did with that. I'm not really sure. Uh, we will just gain two war exhaustion. <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy that down real quick. Yeah, we're not playing that game. Fight the fight! Thank you. I think we got a couple of galleys there. Oh, I, I went the wrong way. Let's get a new leader. We don't need a new leader. Let's put you there. All right, let's uh, pull the uh, cannons off. Put the siege on. Three siege. Thank you. Go back on there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this one because I'm expecting a little bit of a longer war. Spain declared war on Naples with restitution as their Cassius Belly. No, you're not allowed. So that's what it was. They claimed throne. We're not playing that game. So 10 years, we're gonna definitely just have a innovativeness go down. That, that's the, the far better play on that one. My guess is that we are not gonna be able to wait out the Spanish or anything like that. So unless we conquer all of Italy, you conquer all of Naples, which 
would lead to a massive coalition if we thought the last one was big. Uh, we're going to have to surrender to Spain getting it back, but we are going to be able to take a little bit more. I don't even know if it's possible, come to think of it. In fact, I would highly doubt if it is. Oh, it is possible. 96. <laughs> um, my guess is that that would fire. <laughs> Although, admittedly, my allies are not on there. England is not on there. And we would have a truce with some of these nations. Um... Let's leave it be because, I mean, in about five years, that may not actually be too bad. Just saying. Just saying. All right, where are we actually at war? Uh, no. Go here. Okay. See? Might not be too bad. List is a little bit less. And I can't vassalize, although that would make much more sense. I can't do that because they're at war with Spain. So, if we, uh, yeah, we'll do that. They're, they're at war with Spain right now, so if we, um, uh, I'm going to say that a lot of their troops are down there. Uh, yeah, they're at war with Spain right now, so if we vassalized Naples instead of conquering them, then um, we could well wind up with uh, war with Spain. In fact, we would wind up with war with Spain, and that's not good. So... I'm... Uh, Gonna do that. Okay, uh, was one of these here something that could help? No, but there is war score cost against other religions. That would help lower the war score. Don't know if it would help lower the uh, aggressive expansion, but it would help lower the war score to only 60. That lets us add some money. In fact, I don't even have to worry about the admin because I can release them. And I don't think that Spain can worry about a restor restoration of union or anything crazy like that. Oh, wow. We need to uh, help militarily here. All right, so yeah, these are the kind of things I was worried about happening. All right, Leonardo Menici denounces the Church of Italy. 
He had a promising career before the Reformation reached our country and the state of Italy and the Church of State Church of Italy was created as an influential person with family grounds. He has been hard to convince to embrace the new nature of the church. The resistance to change has only grown bigger over the years, and now he is seen to openly he seemed to be openly opposed to the church. A member of the court cannot be seen openly opposed like this something must be done we have we can banish him the pastors get 10 loyalty we lose 10 prestige and he leaves the court uh we can get 25 power or lose 15 prestige or we can say this is unfortunate and we just lose some power gain some prestige which i think will help us at the moment and we'll move forward we have that large army now retreating back so we we don't want to yeah just just come over here and help uh we don't want to leave exposed our our cannons here so we're gonna try and get back close to them i'm also wanting just mainly the big thing i'm protecting is also this this siege. So we'll let France deal with some some actual armies here. And we're going to grab another claim. Grab this one. Right now, I believe Venice is alone in a coalition outside of this coalition. If that makes any sense at all. I don't know why France has decided that's a good spot to be, but we'll start this siege at least. So they're still in this war. Which is fine, whatever. infantry down here. Try and worry about this army. I'm glad to see France beginning to carpet siege around. An aspect of faith can be selected. Okay, so we have the aggression expansion impact. Pastor's influence goes down. Um, you know, we, we want these for sure, but I still like the yearly Republican tradition, so I don't know. There's a lot here that's really, really good. Um, I think right now I'm going to go with the morale. No, with the discipline, because that's where we're, that's with, with, with our current ideas, that's where we're invested. And the electors have elected the Palatinate.
have you now. The, the one fear I have is that we could be handing... Uh, handing Austria a bit of uh, chance at regaining the, the Emperorship. I am afraid of that. There's not a ton I can do right now. Not a ton I can do right now about that. So we are down to 89. And frankly, yeah, I'm just checking again. I know that France and especially Spain are not going to like this. But... I mean... We'll see, uh... See what we can do here. We're gonna trade some favors for trust. And we're gonna wait for the end of the year, and then we're gonna see. And yeah, I'm going to do all that in this episode. Ah, uh, the Great Peasants' War has arrived in the Empire. Hundred and one months. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, I already have a claim on that. Okay. Education for the poor. Sounds lovely. We have an unconditional surrender from one. Just want to check and make sure this is a full annexation before I spend all that. Yeah, full annexation. And look how look how low that is. That's amazing. We can do it. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to. Do anything else. Unless I want to knock Savoy down a peg, but Switzerland's a potential enemy soon anyway. Ah, uh, we could release some of this. Oh no, I'm not offering anything. Yeah, we could make someone release a nation. But I feel like that just makes the Emperor stronger. So I'm not waiting another year. I don't think there's any reason to wait anymore. Let us go. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to release Naples. And now they are a vassal of me. And here we do have a problem. And that problem is that I do not have enough transports 
in my fleet. To bring 27 home without breaking them in half. And we cannot break them in half. So, I guess they're over there. Unless I declare war immediately. And it would appear something has happened. Okay, no. So if I declared war immediately on Austria... <clears throat> We could do that. That'll bring them home. I find no reason not to do this. It brings them home. We have a large number. And it breaks up uh, any idea of Austria and Hungary joining said coalition. So we'll figure out what we're going to do against Austria in a moment. Um, yeah, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Uh, where's the forts? Oh. It was here. Okay. But we're going to worry about that next time. I'll see you then.